All right, stop. No, I can't keep making weird moaning noises every time I start one of these videos. Especially not for Fridays. How we doing, folks? You made it. With or without me. Most likely without. Actually, like, 100% guaranteeing without me to the weekend. Where everybody's working for it. And I'm here wondering... What the hell is this? Is this Africa? Lugwen... Lug... Lungelweni. Lungelweni? Okay. I don't know what this is. Well, Lungelweni Waterfalls. Okay. That tells me nothing. This is either South America or Africa. I don't know which. They are driving... The British colony side of the road? I, 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 I can't tell yet. But yet that's... Yeah, they're on the British colony side. So this potentially could be South Africa. That is my South African accent. Good day, mate. South Africa. That is a baller-ass car. And if I didn't know that this wasn't South Africa, the flag right there. Gave it away. Alright, we got the country right. I don't think I'm going to find Luguinjeni. I don't see any... Uh, well, mountains seem to be up here. So I'm going to click like here. It's a big enough country that... Uh, as long as I get the country, that's at least maybe two or 3,000, depending on where I actually decide to leave the click. But for now, I'm looking for any sort of road sign to help me narrow this down a bit more, but I don't know if I'm going to find it. But, yeah, your weekend. Coming up. How was your week? I hope it was worth it. Whatever you did. I'm like two, well, actually, almost two months into this new job that I have. I'm enjoying it. I'm still in that phase of hoping I don't fuck up. I can't say what I do for work. It's annoying. Like, the last job I had, I couldn't say. Road works for the Knicks. A lot of other countries could learn a thing. At least the U.S. being like, hey, we're doing road work. Sorry. No, it's just like, road work ahead. You'll be fine if you speed. A little bit of kindness goes a long way. Regardless of how, uh... Well, vapid's the wrong word, but like, oh, here we go. N2. We are going to sink some battleships. Where is the N2? I wish this was bigger. It's the R's. Or are we in Namibia? And the R's? I have not found anything that's not an R. Do I zoom in closer to get N's? No. Well, let's go up here. I need to uh, verify where this is yet. But I'm at this new job, and always concerned. That's an A, that's Botswana, that's not Angola, that's a B's? Or that's an M. I need N's. Mount Ferrer, Ferrere, maybe this will help. I mean, I saw that car that said, that said some things on there. Alright, so this is the N220 Rehabilitation. Concord roads and earthworks. I'm not. I see a B. Oh, that's in. Um, I don't think this is Kenya. Oh, time was up. No idea. I thought I had more time. Oh, it's okay. So it's a two. Does that mean these are for the? N I don't know. I'm just gonna unless. No. Okay. Good job. I don't know if anybody, this is Scandinavia. This is pretty. Very nice. I almost feel like I've been here on one before, but nah, I don't think so. This looks really nice. But I don't know if you go through that when you get a new job. Um, there was a whole... I, I, I'm very pessimistic when it comes to job hunting because uh, I, I'm not special compared to anybody else with this problem, but it just gets exacerbated. When you feel like, oh, I'm just shit, I'm garbage, I'm a terrible person, I don't deserve this work. 
And then you sit at your job and you're like, man, I hate this. I want a new job. And what this does not look like. A super elongated Norwegian flag. Although it was just the stripes. It wasn't the the straight up country itself. Uh, maybe. Although Norway is a long country. I don't know where. I'm going to click like right there. And it's just a cycle that I had. I still do. I mean, if I was to try to get a new job now, I'm going to feel the exact same way when I do it. And it's just like, I hate this job. I want a new one. All right. Let's go through jobs. Do I have anything in mind? That's uh, Strike one is like, do I have anything in mind? Not particularly. If anything interests me, then I'll apply for it. Which, you should probably have something better in mind. I mean, I'm, I'm not a very good example as to what to do. I mean, maybe learn from me, if anything else. Or it's like, yeah, I don't have anything in mind, really. I just want to uh, find something that interests me, and then I'll look into it. Now, do I take anything into account? No, we're all above the Arctic Circle here. I don't know what that has to do with the tree line. There is an elevation where trees don't grow, and there might also be a latitude where trees won't grow above. I don't think we're there. But anyway my process for finding jobs. Okay, I found one. All right, let's let's look into it. Requirements. This isn't anything you're not going to hear from anybody else. It's like, all right, new, the, the, a lot of like super cynical. I mean, granted, I'm a huge cynical person and it can be real annoying sometimes, especially if I get annoyed with it and it's coming from me, I'm sure everyone else is tired of it way more, but I look at the job. All right, it's an entry job. It's five to seven years prior experience, you know, new hire, your first ever job, blah, 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 that type of shit. Where I'll look. Ravlund, that doesn't help me. This is a really narrow ass road. And I don't think I'm going to find Gravlund anywhere up here. But I go through the list. Okay, this seemed interesting. All right, requirements. Oh, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I don't know. I could kind of do that. Uh, no, I don't know about that one either. And then it eventually just becomes a the a slow trickle down of just, well, the things I could do are being outnumbered by the things I don't think I can do. And then I just say, well, fuck it, I can't get this job. And then I stop. It's a horrible thing to do, but I, I've done it for most of my life now. And after, come on, go forward. And then the other thing I do is, okay, the, the questions will ask sometimes if you actually get an interview. The, the one out of probably 30 times you apply for a job, you might hear back and get an interview. Uh, you go there, and then they'll ask, like, what's your proficiency in blah, 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 or you know, Microsoft Word, or Office, or Excel? And you're like, well, gee, uh, see, all of these, this is starting to worry me that it's just a stripe. Are these the Falklands? Well, we'll find out in one second. No, it's still Norway, but it's just an interesting flag they have. And my problem is I feel like I'm too honest. Whereas, like, other people, like, the, the, that's an interesting looking tree. The, um, federal jobs you could look at, for example, um, USA Jobs. I heard this from somebody who works for the federal government. Um, you ever try to use the USA job web portal terminal or whatever it's called? If you haven't, let me let me uh, tell you a little bit about it. Um, just like you probably would think about with any government thing, it drags its feet when it actually comes to uh, replying to you in an email. Like, you'll get an email saying, thank you for telling me the country. They get to email, hey, we got your email for uh, this position, whatever you're trying to do. And um, this has happened on multiple occasions with me where I will, I'm going to click like here because I feel we're around Guadalajara. And like, All right, thank you for it. We're going to process it and we'll get back to you. You know, that's just the normal thing that happens with uh, job applications. The only thing is with the government 
is that when they say they're going to get back to you when it's processed, that can take anywhere from eight to Christ. I think I had one take 16 months where the point was I got an email super way after I actually applied for it where I outright forgot that I uh, applied for it. He's saying, hey, uh, this job you applied for, you're uh, you're not getting it. It's like, well, kind of takes the sting off it when you don't remember actually applying for it at all. Disunity of your speed. That sounds like a uh, Coheed and Cambria song or something off of Dream Theater. Whatever. Uh, as grow. Let's make your booty big with your cinnamon. Santa Rosa. I feel like I'm close to where I should be. Oh, this might help me. This may help me. If they don't continue to blur it. You more focus. Or is it just faded out so much? I can't. It's Mexico something. But La Soledad. I don't know if I'm going to see... It's one of the... I feel it's around Guadalajara. That's just because I saw it on a sign. That's my only excitement for it. Excitement. Only real clue I have. But just know that if you want to do some sort of government job, it's going to take a long time for them to get back to you. And just after that, you do the application stuff. I was told, okay, those questions I was talking about, it's like, hey, uh... Let's me me I think we're down here. Is me whole me Because I feel M I C H. I believe that it's around there. I don't see a last Soledad anywhere here, but I'm gonna click like here. There's La Piedad, La Barca. I feel we're over in that area there. But it's all about the like the proficiencies. Ha, ha, there, there's apparently the computer program they use. Now I don't know if this is the case anymore. I don't know if they're gonna they're still using that. But they get so many people that apply for their jobs. It's completely computer filtered to begin with. Where uh, you do the questionnaire and the amount of points. Why is everything blurred? You're not helping me. So, okay, you get 100 people that apply for a job. We'll just uh, use that as an example. I'm giving five stars Mexico. So, okay, 100 people apply for the job. I feel we're in Southeast Asia, around here. And you're like, okay, now think of all the government positions there are. And it's like, there's millions of them. Might be not millions, but there's a lot. And trying to have one person go through all those from start to finish is is kind of a tall task even for the government so they um decided to i'm clicking up there i feel like we're up there they decided to let a computer program do the uh is this like the highway do they do they number their shit here kinda see i don't know if this is 68 113 1175 I f I'm sorry I keep uh start stopping on this ultimately kind of pointless story but I feel like I got the country right I just don't know if I have the region correct but they have the computer do the first filter for the position so what's that mean okay they they only want the top qualified candidates. What that means is, okay, say there's, we only want, like, people who score on this uh, resume questionnaire application thing they put on the uh, website. We only want the top 95 or the top 10. And say you get the top 10. Well, if those top 10 people just said, no, I'm 100% amazingly perfect at every single thing, even if they're not, I mean, no one's like 100% perfect at anything. That's just how things work. Like, if you were, what's happening to this car? It's just, like, if you were going to get a raise, it's like, it's out of a possible 100 points. No one ever gets 100 points. It's just, that's not how it works if you're going by a number system. So, if you get the 
like 10 people who completely lie and say, I'm 100% proficient in everything. It's you know going to skew it, and those people are going to be at the top of the list. Therefore, they're the ones who are going to get selected for the next phase of the job application. Whereas if you were trying to be honest and say like, no, I don't think I'm like great at Excel, but I do pretty well. Maybe I'll say I get an eight. And you honestly score yourself like that, you're never going to get a, a callback. You have to like 100% lie. And I, I think that's a hang up that I have. I mean, I'm not saying like, I'm too honest. You know, it's, it's just the way that I feel, maybe not how I raised, I, how I was raised. I just feel like I, I'm not going to lie and be dishonest when I actually get the job and they say, all right, you know how to work Microsoft Access. Uh, we want these reports done by Wednesday. And then you would say, well, I lied on my app, like I lied on my resume. And then they're like, well, what you said you were amazing at this. Why would you lie? And then they'd fire you. And it's, that's how I look at it. I'm, I'm sure 99% of the time it's just like, oh, well, we'll get you a bit of training or we'll have you sh uh, shadow somebody for a day just so you can get a brush up on it. But just know that going ahead, if you were actually going to try to get any government work, that lie, 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 apparently. Say you're perfect at everything. I mean, that's the way certain positions are. I'm sure not all of them are this way, but... That's just how, mm. excuse me, that's just how I uh, was told how the, the selection process works. I have no idea. I, I feel like I'm just constantly clicking because, I mean, it, I'm following the road subconsciously as I'm uh, babbling on about this story. Five stars, Thailand. You did it. This is England. Or, no, this is England. Let's see if I'm right. So just know that going forward, if you're going to do any government job work stuff, it's great. Um, yeah, and, and as far as jobs went, I, I, again, I think I've maybe gotten, if I did the math, I mean, I don't think I, I don't throw out as many applications or resumes as most people do, but like, I'll send out like bursts. Over a couple of year period, it, it, it's this, um, I guess the best way I can describe it is like, all right, I'm kind of stressed out. I'm like, oh, the job, I'm, uh, it's a bit annoying. It's a bit grating. Okay. And then it slowly starts ramping up, ratcheting up. All right. This is, this is starting to suck. Oh God. Okay. I can't take it anymore. I need to find a new job. And then that starts step two after I've wound, sorry, wound myself up enough. I just hit the mic with my hand to finally motivate myself to find a new job it starts phase two and that's looking at resumes categoric richmond garrison can i see anything else here no that i don't think this road's any better is this actually ireland i don't know it i can't tell so after phase two starts it's the whole searching for jobs and then i have that issue of okay let's look at this job oh, okay i don't feel like i'm qualified i don't feel like whole qualified i do that enough times where either i throw my hands up stop there and just be like all right well i'm fucked i'm just stuck at this job and i go back to step one until that gets too much and then i go back to step two but if i can push myself past that whole idea of all right this is garbage i hate it i need something new I look at the jobs and I'm like, all right, this is, I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. Uh, I just, I just got to put stuff out there. I don't care. They'll tell me if they, they won't call me back if I won't get, if I'm not like accredited or good enough for the position. So after I do that, I put them out there and I'm like, all right, Jonas Center, self-centered holidays for families, whatever. So I just sit there and wait as most normal people do. It's no different than what anybody else would do when they're uh, waiting for a job. And then 90% of the time, I never hear back. Actually, I think grand total, the amount of times I've put out jobs in, I'm 36, 35, I can't remember. After 21, you stop counting years. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I probably heard back 
either 10 or less than 10 times in every job I put out. I mean, like I said again, Castle Bolton. The Bolton Arms. I'm going to click, like, down here. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. I don't know what the hell, cat. I just feel like this is quaint, English, and I'm really hoping not Irish. But apparently, okay, get back on the road. What just happened? Get back on the road. And then it's the next process of hearing back from him and then sitting it down and scheduling an interview. And then playing that game of don't say stupid shit at your interview. Don't panic. Calm down. Relax. Just just say the stupid. Well, I think I'm really good at... I just hate the whole self-aggrandizing. Well, I think I'm really good at this, and I've had experience in this, and I should have left it up there to begin with, because my place I had it before was actually really close to this, but I'm an idiot and moved it down south farther, because for no reason other than I wanted to move it. Four stars. And by four, I'm at five. And oh my god, we got 21,000 as I babble on about this interview stuff. I'll just wrap it up quick. Um, either go one of two ways. Find an amazing job, your first one. Or don't be scared. Rejection is a expected thing, at least when it comes to most things in life. You gotta be willing to deal with it. Not pout. Not throw your hands up. Not say it's not fair. Because no one wants to hear that. Just, uh... Keep pushing through. You'll go get him, tiger. Now where's my dinner? Anyway. I don't know what happened at the end there. I don't know why I felt like I needed to cap off this soapbox with some sort of motivational speaking. You really shouldn't come to me for advice. I don't know why I felt like I needed to. But anyway... Thank you all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, tell me your enjoyable uh, job, application, interview, shit. It's interesting to hear stories from people about that, and I'd like to hear it from you. Uh, yeah, check out the other stuff we got in the channel. Uh, check out the Twitch stream. There's Uncharted going this week. I'm still doing God of War until that's done. And by done, I probably mean beat it i don't i don't see myself getting sick of it but who knows i can't predict the future but what i can predict is monday we're going to be back with some more and i hope to see you then have a good weekend do fun stuff but if you're doing this stupid what just shut up you're not it's, it's not your responsibility to tell these people things these things always like drag weight on too long can't talk ending before more stupid things are said.